Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much spooky. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth, so beer discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird spooky stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit out the video here. No harm, no foul. But I remember our time fondly. Yeah, I know. I don't like the intro either, okay? I, YouTube is YouTubering me really, YouTubering really hard. <laughs> They're just really, really coming down on me, okay? And they each restricted some videos. I'm not very happy right now. So I'm in jail again. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> Hi. We are doing a spooky haul. Welcome to Sunday Spooky Hall. As if this is a thing. And this is not a thing. Today I'm gonna make it a thing. So the last couple of years I have done spooky hauls, so whether they're like one or two videos, kind of showing the stuff that I pick up during spooky season. For me, spooky season starts July 5th and doesn't end until November 1st. And that's just being nice about it. In reality, it's Halloween every day in my world. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you the stuff that I picked up recently. Because I mean, listen, some places really do Halloween fucking good. Other places places not so much looking at you marshals Ugh. have you seen that it's just tragic every marshals i've been to has just been tragic <sighs> ray dunn everywhere and i just i can't i can't i can't fuck with that but there is a thing i saw on tiktok that is like a cauldron diffuser <gasps> bitch you best believe i'm looking for it everywhere because i need to have that <laughs> anyway let's start off with bath and body works so bath and body works this year I'm gonna say it. My spooky dick is not that impressed. Last year, I felt like, oh my God, there are fucking things that I need to have and I, I can't wait to buy them. This year, I just feel like, okay, like this is this is fine. Like it's nothing, nothing amazing. Um, with the exception of this thing. <laughs> this is everything. So this is a, basically a candle holder at the end of the day. You Put a big giant candle on it. You then turn this bad boy on. It almost feels like this is Madame Leota in a way, holding a crystal ball, telling us our future. I know my lights are kind of blowing it out, so I'm gonna put a picture here just to show what it looks like. It's fucking everything. Is it expensive? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is there a price for just, you know, happiness? <laughs> no. So that's why I bought it. Uh, <laughs> it's funny because when I went to uh, Bath and Body Works, I was like, okay, I'm really loving everything that I'm seeing. And then I saw this by the register and I was like, everything stopped. The world stopped. My hair was like flying behind me. It was like, I'm in love. And I was like, how much is this? And I believe she said $70. And I went, <laughs> ouch, here's my credit card. <laughs> how it went um but i love this i think this is really cool every year they have always come out with like really cute ones i think was it last year or the year before i had the eyeball no i think it was last year i had the eyeball and i have like a nice kind of like iridescent skull so i'm always very very excited to see something really cute um yes they're expensive <laughs> but they're worth every fucking penny that said I needed a candle to go with it. And I decided to pick up this candle. This is the Moonlit Garden. I got it only because of the cute cover. I am a sucker for these really cute covers. Last year, it was a skull. I literally have it sitting next to me because that's where I put my sponge on. I'm that kind of a bitch. Uh, so this year, I will not do that because there's nothing really, really like fun on this side, but I love the top of this. So at least the candle's top, I will have forever and ever and ever. Um, but this, this candle, I don't even know what the fuck it smells like. <laughs> it's called Moonlit Graveyard. And I believe the notes in this are tombstone moss, cold foggy air, eerie incense, and then with natural essential oils. I don't have the best sense of smell, so it just smells like a candle. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, this is really cute, but I only really bought it because I really like the top of it. Now, I like to have options. Y'all know me. I love my options. So if I'm not feeling this, which how, like that's just ridiculous. But if I'm not feeling this and I want something a little bit less extra, then I decided why not get something like this? This is so beautiful. It's another little candle holder. And I like the style of this one because I loved how the skull looked. Kind of reminded me of my logo and all the little skulls that I have. Of course, I love this little pumpkin here. You got a couple of ravens. You got some bats. This is a very cute and functional candle holder that just works perfectly. This is something that will always be like in my living room, right by my TV. This is a little bit bulky. I can't have it that close. <laughs> this is more of like a, a kitchen table, dining room table situation. This is more of like a casual next to the TV kind of a thing. I love the print of it. I just thought it was so cute and it wasn't too much. A lot of times Bath and Body Works can have really cute things or they can have really ugly fucking things. And this year I feel like there's a lot of ugly things. So the fact that I even found this, 
is a win. Now the fun doesn't stop there. The thing that I was really excited about picking up is this little pocket back holder. So this is pretty much, um, <laughs> it's the stupidest fucking thing. This is for your hand sanitizer, right? It's just a little vessel that you could clip onto the end of your bag. Now I love all the ones that I have from Bath and Body Works in uh, previous years. I have one that's like a little candy bucket. I have a pumpkin. I have a pumpkin latte. Like you see the fucking theme here, right? Oh, bat. Oh, the bat one was really cute too. I have a lot of them because I love hand sanitizer and especially being in this weird it's not even post COVID because COVID still is a thing, but this COVID era, if you don't have hand sanitizer readily available, you need help. <laughs> You should always have fucking hand sanitizer on you forever and ever and ever. That said, why not carry it in something really cute? Now, what I liked about this one is that it's supposed to light up. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. It says there's a button. I don't know where that is. I keep pressing it in hopes that the, something is gonna fucking work. Nothing works. I... Oh, <laughs> fucking idiot. All right, apparently there's a button on top. Cute. I'm gonna put a little video here because I know my lights are blowing this out. Um, but, <laughs> oh, okay. Cause uh, for a minute here, I was gonna be like, you know, $10, <laughs> I wasted my money, but nope, nope. This is worth every fucking penny. This is worth every fucking penny and I regret nothing. We love this, love this. <laughs> This year I was a little surprised. They didn't have a lot of cute ones. There was one that was kind of like a ghost that kind of had like a little diamond motif moment. That was kind of cute, but when I saw it in person, it kind of looked cheap as fuck, so. Anyway, so the other things that I picked up from Bath and Body Works is a couple of soap holders. I really, really love the design of my candle holders. I found that they had it in a soap holder one as well, so I picked that up. And then I picked up this, which, you know, in hindsight, I think this was a very stupid purchase because it kind of is fucking stupid. Uh, <laughs> I think at the time I was like, ooh, and now I'm like, why did I get this? kind of long. <laughs> okay. On one hand, it's kind of cute. On the other hand, how functional is this? Now, when I'm half asleep, right, and I have like one eye open and I'm going to the bathroom, do I really need to hear this when I'm trying to wash my hands? No. <laughs> This would make me go into a full panic for a couple of seconds, being like, what? Huh? huh? And then I can't get back to sleep. So if anything, I think it's going to be in my half bath because uh, yeah, at least I won't have to deal with that. <laughs> um, but I think, yeah, it's stupid. Why the fuck did I buy that? <laughs> I get all excited about Halloween, y'all, okay? And it just seemed like a good idea. Hmm. Oh, it's kind of cute. It's growing on me again, okay? I like the little rings. But also kind of annoying to, no. No, this is cute, this is cute. I stand by my decision. I stand by it. Anyway, <laughs> besides the two soap holders, I also got a few plugins. This year's plugins, I don't, like, they were fine, they're cute. I like the ones that I picked out, but it just felt like a lot of them just were, I don't know, like weren't that exciting or felt like they were too similar to last year that it just made me not wanna get them or or on the other spectrum, some of them look really cheap. So these are the ones that I picked that I thought were really, really cute. I also love the fact that they kind of project a little light show on the wall. That's probably th the best thing that I could fucking have in my bathroom. And for that, it will always be in my bathroom. I will always have some sort of spooky wall plug-in for the rest of my life because yeah, like, Seriously, how cute is this shit? It's adorable. So those are the things that I picked up from Bath and Body Works. I think they're gonna be releasing some more Halloween stuff, but I'm not entirely sure. But if they do, I hope it's cute shit because I do like them and I like when I do things right. But I feel like this year, not my favorite. So this year, I also decided to look at some other retailers to see what other Halloween stuff is around. Normally, I just go to the core stores, right? So it's like Target, Michaels, Home Goods, and so forth and so on. But this year, I decided, you know what? What does Lego have, right? I've been loving Legos. I've been obsessed with them. And I'm like, you know, I need some kind of more like fun, weird Lego pieces. And I decided to get these three things and I fucking, I regret nothing because 
If you don't know, I'm also going to be redoing my room soon because I really just don't like this layout. It's just not functional and I hate my Alex drawers and all that shit. So I bought a bunch of pieces, but I'm also in the process of cleaning stuff out. And that takes a lot of work too, because I also have a full-time job. So like I don't have a lot of time to devote to this. So it's going to take a little bit, but I've been shopping for pieces that I want to have in the background. And I also want to make sure that they're kind of functional as well. So I decided to get this. How cute is he? So technically he's storage and you're supposed to put Lego pieces in them we're not doing that what we're doing in this we're putting motherfucking paw paw sponges in this bitch okay <laughs> this is gonna be my sponge holder my new sponge holder of course i'm still gonna have like my cookie jar because that is gonna show all the weird fun sponges that shouldn't be hidden behind this little face so i got him and him i love him look how cute he is <laughs> i love him <laughs> this is my son <laughs> And of course, because I'm a leaper and I can't make up my fucking mind, I got another one. So I have two skeletons. One's a zombie, one's a regular. But look how cute he is. And essentially, I'm going to put like sponges and brushes and all kinds of just stuff that I don't want it collecting dust, putting it in these guys. I think that'd be really cute and a little unique too because I'm very particular in what I like and it takes me a while to find things. And I often want to find things that are not going to be used for their intended use. <laughs> So like, yes, yes, it'll be storage, but not the kind of storage that you would think would be in it. And um, I just, I fucking love this. This is so fucking cute. And yeah, I know, I'm old. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I love this. <laughs> anyway, so I got these. Oh, and for those that are asking, yes, this is a Poltergeist shirt, because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some people in the comments being like, what does your shirt say? This is from Poltergeist, because it's spooky season after all, which by the way, Torrid for all my little fat babies, has some cute Halloween stuff. Not all of it, not all of it, but there are some really cute shirts like this one, the Poltergeist one, which is really cute. They also have a really cute Scream one as well. Just saying. Then they have ones that have holes in it, don't buy those. Those look fucking dumb. Uh, <laughs> these, like, what is this? Who? No, nobody asked for this. Uh, but this, this absolutely. Anyway, now let's move on to Michaels. With Michaels, I have to say, Michaels understood the fucking assignment. They understood they are the king of Halloween until I see Target's collection. And a part of me kind of wants to drunk shop a little bit of Pottery Barn. It's expensive, but I really want this and this and this. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I might get this later if I'm drunk enough. So Michaels has so much stuff. A lot of the stuff is available online. However, there are some pieces that are not, so you have to go to the store to pick them up. That said, we went about like, I don't know, 35 minutes before the store closed and I was hyperventilating. <laughs> They had so much cute shit and a lot of shit that I was like, I am going to be using this in my background decor for years to come. So here are the couple things that I picked up. I mean, come on, bitch, okay? It's so funny because this was probably the last little wood box that I saw. The first one was like a little moon, which was very cute. I'll pop a picture right here. Very cute, thought it was adorable. I was like, oh my God, okay, I could, I could do something with this. I have a lot of weird stuff on the back. I could see myself putting things on shelves. It'll be cute. Then I saw one that was like from Stranger Things, like Vecna, it had like a little clock coffin situation. I was like, fuck that moon one. I'm getting this one. And I was walking around a store with it. And then I saw this one and my whole world stopped. It's like, again, the same experience that I had when I saw that candle holder in Bath and Body Works. My hair blew, my glasses flew off my fucking face and I was like, that's it, that's the one. So I got two, um, but I'm not holding both of them because that would be stupid. I got two of these. <laughs> so these are gonna be my background and all the stuff on this little corner shelf because y'all can't even see it and it's so cute. But how I'm gonna put the furniture and stuff behind me, um, I think I'm gonna have to take it off the wall. So we are going to put some of these little babies in here. And so I have like two of them. So it's gonna look really, really cute and I love it. I'm very happy for me. <laughs> now what I'm going to have behind me, one of them is going to be kind of like a big rack because in that rack, I'm going to have all of my acrylic containers and all my little accoutrements. I want to kind of decorate it and I want to put like some fun stuff around it. So I am going to put some lights around it to kind of make things pop. But I also kind of really fell in love with this garland. And I don't know if this is going to be something that I have year round, but I think maybe just for the spooky season, I might have this up. Also, I think um, I kind of like shed a tear a little bit. <laughs> in the Michaels. So not only did I look like a hot fucking mess, but I started to kind of get really sad because, you know, when I used to work in an office, my favorite time of the year was Halloween. So I would decorate the shit out of my cubicle. And eventually I got my coworkers on board. And I mean, of course it was all funded by me. So they had to do minimal work. You're welcome. Uh, but I would like get everybody like little cobwebs we put around the cubicle walls, we had little spiders everywhere. I got everybody like a pumpkin with their initial, like I was an amazing coworker in the office. Okay. Everybody wanted to be my friend. Anyway, so when I saw something like this, I like 
got sad because I was like, this is something that I would put up around my cubicle and it would be really fucking cute. And everybody would be like, where'd you get that? And I'd go into a whole three hour conversation about Michaels and Halloween and what I love about it and whatever. Anyway, I would get no work done and it would be a great time. Instead, I have to sit at my computer chained to it pretty much just working and not talking about Halloween stuff and not wasting company time. <sighs> Anyway, so when I saw this, I got really excited and I thought I need to have this. I, I don't know how I'm gonna incorporate it fully throughout the year, but at least for the time being in the background, I'll have something. And these were just adorable. I love the little ghost and I just love how simple it is. A lot of my colors are gonna be primarily like black, white, clear. And then all my little my little guys back there are gonna be like the pops of color because I don't want it to be like too out there. I want it to be pretty uniform. So I feel like this was like a good representation of a little bit of everything. Anyway, so I got two of these. And then of course I saw this and I figured <laughs> I need to have this because it's my namesake. Cause it's true. <laughs> I'm the poster child for it. I love this, this is so good. Now the other things that I picked up was one, this little jar. I thought this was so cute. This is the Home Sweet Haunted Home. And I love the little lid. I love the little witch's hat. I like how it's distressed looking. I have a couple of these jars that I got from last year. So again, this is gonna be something that's in the background. I'm gonna put like a bunch of these little, perhaps maybe take the tops off actually, and maybe fill them with beads. I have like these little uh, skull beads and stuff like that, and then put brushes in them. Just things that maybe I'm not really using, but they're more decorative. That's what I was thinking would potentially go into these guys. Then when I saw these, I was like, I don't know what I want to do with them, but I know I want to have them. <laughs> so then Alex was like, well, you know, it'd be kind of cute. And this is all his ideas. We need to thank Papa Alex. But he was like, why don't you just like put sponges in these guys too? So I found a bunch of orange sponges because this is a pumpkin. So I'm going to make this look orange. And then since this is a ghost, I found it's very actually hard to find white sponges. So I kind of found like off white sponges, kind of like pinkish gray. So I'm going to fill him up and I'm going to see how they look as like little background pieces as well. But listen, I just, I love fun, weird shit. <laughs> so I just thought this would be kind of like a fun little arts and crafts time. And maybe I might make a video of that. Maybe you might, you know, have a couple of adult libations, do some arts and crafts. If you're into that, press four down below and maybe we can just kind of do some decorating and get drunk. <laughs> you know, just get drunk and make this. Anyway, so love these. There were other things that I wanted to pick up from Michaels, but like I had to like stop myself because they're kind of big pieces where it's like if I had a house or if it was like a home improvement style Halloween party, it would make sense, but it's just us. <laughs> We're not having any Halloween style home improvement parties. So I couldn't really, you know, I couldn't really talk myself into buying some of the pieces that I saw, but I do invite you to go check out Michaels because Michaels has some good shit. They really do. And especially if you're looking for things that just don't look like hokey bullshit that fucking Marshalls likes to put out, I recommend going to check out Michaels. And the last thing I actually got from them too was this, this is cute. This is actually gonna go by my desk. It just reminded me of, you know, when I was in an office and my little pumpkin. So I had to get him, he was adorable. And of course, last but certainly not least, I got these little guys, which I showed them on Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, what the fuck are you doing? Follow me on Instagram. I showed pictures of these. These are really, really adorable. So there is a website called Born to Blossom Designs. They are a small business and they create some of the cutest fucking things ever. And I have to thank my good friend on Instagram, Danny. Hello, nurse. She was the one that pointed me in this direction. And she always sends me the funnest Halloween shit. <laughs> like these Starbucks cups. You best believe this bitch is mine. So she sent this to me and I was like, this is fucking really cute. What exactly is this? I need to get it. Hello, come on. They basically have these horror glass night lights. So they retail for about like $25 a piece. And honestly, it's the best $25 I ever fucking spent. <laughs> And of course they have a bunch of different spooky options from like Michael Myers to Beetlejuice. And of course, if that's not your bag, which I, I don't know why I keep quoting Austin Powers these days, but whatever, if that's not your bag, baby. The company also makes really, really cute earrings as well. I don't have, um, I mean, I have holes in my ears. I just don't put anything in them. I haven't put anything in them probably in over 20 years. So it's probably dust in there, uh, if anything. <laughs> But they have some cute earrings, which look really, really adorable. But yeah, if you want to support a small business and they make cute fucking quality shit, quality shit, because these are like fucking everything. I love the stained glass. Freddy looks really good. Ghostface looks really, really good. And I kind of want to go back and uh, get another one. But if you are looking to support a small business, go check this brand out. Not affiliated, not anything like that. Don't have any coupon codes or whatever. Just go support a small business. Anyway, um, yeah. 
That said, this is my spooky haul, part one. I'm definitely gonna be having more and more because there are things that I have seen online that are gonna be coming out closer to September. So that's probably when I'm gonna have the second one. Talking about probably Target and then Loungefly, a show that they're making these these things. These look incredible. Um, they're basically cross body bags, but I don't want to use them as a cross body bag. I want to use them as a makeup bag because I think that'd be even cuter. So um, I love McDonald's clearly and I love the boo buckets. Last year had so much fun finding the boo buckets and I don't think McDonald's is going to be doing that again this year because fuck us, right? So instead I'm going to have to get the boo buckets this way and these look so good. So I can't wait to go pick those up. Now I want to hear from y'all. Um, Let me know down below if you are in the midst of Halloween. Halloween shopping and if so where have you gone what are things that you have seen that maybe I might like let me know and put all your links and stuff down below or shoot me some messages on Instagram or shit like that or tag me on threads even though threads I think is dying anyway show me your Halloween goods so with that said I want to say thank you so much for watching I truly appreciate it as always feel free to like comment hit that subscribe button it's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts follow me on Instagram threads and to my beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and patrons, thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, spooky, trashy, really trashy, really spooky, really haunted garbage boat afloat. Couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. I just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we can be one. If you want to know all the makeup that I have on my face today, jokes on you, that will be up live tomorrow. This was a journey, okay? This was a journey and it was a lot of fun to do. There's a lot of screaming in that video. A lot of screaming. Anyway, I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.